Hi everyone, so I'm just walking into town right now through this country lane, right? And I think I found out the secret of Pokemon Go, like the true uh, little dark secret of why it's on the phone. So uh, I've got my phone right here, I'm just gonna unlock it, right? And I've, I've now unlocked it, I'm pressing Pokemon Go. So it's gonna load, it's gonna come up with a message. Now I'm going into town for something else, give it a second to load here. But I'm also going to go into town and I'm going to go into the phone company because I just want to ask them about this. So, as you saw, I did switch everything on, switch like the, the 3G roaming and such on. And I'm going to sign in with Google, right? So, oh, I've got like a little bug just flew on me. Ah, shit! Get it off! Little bastard. But yeah, so I just signed in with Google, and as you can see, loading forever. Now, this is because there is about to be a train going past quite loud. Sorry about that. But yeah, so it's loading forever as you can see. Now, this is because 3G, internet, roaming, whatever, it came up with a message before saying I'll only use up to one pound today. I'm going to switch that off because that music is annoying as shit. But I come up with a message a minute ago saying that free roaming today will only cost me a single pound. One pound for roaming for the entire day. Now, I'm just going to flick the camera around because I take it you don't want to be looking at that. So you can see my face, basically. Bit of a vlog video. So yeah, it's going to cost one pound to do roaming for today. And... Remember, Pokemon Go is supposed to be a free game, but what I'm thinking is, watch out for these trees just duck down, blow all these trees that are kind of hanging down on the pathway, but what I'm thinking they've done, you see, is I'm thinking that they're trying to scam all the little kids. Like, you're going to have these kids like, oh, Pokemon, real world, and I'm going to download the game free, sign in with the Google account or the Pokemon Trainer account whatever they want to sign in with then it's going to come up with you need your roaming on now a kid, a kid won't know any better I haven't got any credit on my phone that's why it's loading forever but a kid a little kid won't know any better they'll switch the roaming on and just say they've got 20 pounds, 20 dollars 20 Swedish crowns, whatever region you're in 20 zen or which whatever Japan uses, just say they've got 20 of it in the phone. Jesus, this is just overgrown. This is just getting out of control now. <laughs> Every time I walk down this path. But yeah, they've got 20 zen in their phone or 20 pound in their phone. They won't know any different. So they'll just use it. They'll just play it. And it's like, oh, look, look over there, over there. There's a cat. There's a meowth. They'll just use it like that. They'll just keep using it. The entire day might have only cost them a pound. Now, this is because I've been with O2 for like 10 years or something. I've never switched from O2, so I do get O2 deals if I if I top up my phone. So that one pound a day for me. Thank you, train. So that one pound a day for me might actually be five pound for everybody else depending on what network you're with. I mean, I don't know American networks except for one, which is AT&T. But, you know, if you're with AT&T, you've only just signed up with them. You won't have any offers like I've got. You won't have that pound a day thing. Yours might be $5 a day. And if you've only got £20, that's four days. That's four days' worth of play. So I'm going to go into town right now and I'm going to see if the Cali and Mari Amiibo are out because while well, I'm pretty much done with Amiibo I'm, I'm still liking the look of those Cali and Mari Amiibos but I'm going to go into town, pick them up and I'm going to come back with this little vlog video in a minute but while I'm in town I'm going to go into O2 I'm going to ask for an interview guys, 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 look there's a wild Pokemon right there, do you see it? there's a wild Buneri I found a wild Buneri, let's capture this thing. 
Oh, it's gone. It's fled into the tall grass. You all saw it though. Let's let's re-zoom out. Zoom all the way out. So yeah, I'm gonna go into town right now. And when I'm in the O2 store, I'm gonna say, look, O2, I'm an old man, right? I, I'm not the guy that knows how to use an iPhone. Back in my day, we only had phones that do texties. And that's true. Like, the first phone I ever had, it didn't even have text, you know. That's how far we were back in the 90s. And then, like, 1995, got this nice little gem-looking phone, which did have texting. And, of course, we had Snake. We did have Snake. Oh, God, there's Buneeries everywhere. Look at them all. They're all just slitted around the path. That one's just sleeping in the middle of the road. So, uh, yeah. I'm going to go into the O2 store, and I'm going to say, Hey, I need, I need your advice. On, on an application, uh, I want your advice on contracts and I want to know how it works. And if you don't mind, like I'll, I'll talk to him and I'll say, if you don't mind, I just want to record you. I want your, you, as a trained professional, to, to tell the people watching this what exactly they're getting into here. Because, again, like it's going to be brought up more in the review, but when I do review it, a, I want a credible source, which is a guy that obviously has to know about smartphones. And um, I also want it to be safe for you, because obviously I do have people of a younger audience watch this channel. I should not have put this hoodie on. Despite it like looking very overcast, it's quite muggy, it's quite hot. I might have to, ooh, da, 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 sexy, I'm too sexy for my top. No, I'm not, I'm not going to take that off right now. I'll tie it around my waist once I've done recording, but yeah, I'm going to ask them, you know, if I can record them and have a credible source, because there are younger people that watch my content, watch my reviews, and even those of you that aren't young who watch my content, watch my reviews, I don't want you getting scammed by the Pokemon company, because there is already microtransactions in the game, and that's okay, it's a free to play game, free to play games have a microtransaction thing, you, you know, when you download some of for free, that's the price you're paying, but if they're sneakily taking like one to, oh there's a little tiny baby one, oh he just run across the pathway, there's a little tiny baby one, oh, cute, very cute, he just like ran right in my, right in my path, that was lovely. But yeah, so if they're trying to scam an extra couple of dollars off of you from this 3G3 roaming thing, because it just loads forever, it's no good. I'm not going to have that. So yeah, I'm going to go to town. I'm getting close to the end of this country lane now. I'm going to go into town, and we're going to find out what's going on. Okay, so I'm back. You get to see the other side now. Walking back from town, um, went to O2, went to game, Nothing, nothing in my... Eh? Oh. No problem. Lovely man. Lovely guy walking home from work, or biking home from work. Very good, very exercisable. Oh god, there's another biker as well. One sec. Right, there goes the other biker. Right, as I was saying, I went to her game. Callie and Mari aren't out till tomorrow, so I'll be picking them up tomorrow. Went into O2, went into the phone, different phone companies, asked them a few different questions. O2 was the main one. All said the same thing about recording. Obviously, for legal reasons, they're not allowed to let anybody record video or audio. It's fine. I respect that. So a lovely person in O2 called Matt, and he has uh, given me a piece of paper with all the information that I would ever need on it. So all the information about, you know, gigabytes and data roaming and things. I can't get this in my pocket. Hold on. Hold on a sec. I just need to get this in my pocket because it's starting to rain and I don't want the ink to run. There we go. Didn't want the ink to run. But yeah, so on that piece of paper is everything about data roaming and uh, contracts and all the things that involve money 
that Pokemon Go is going to tie into. Won't spoil what's on it, you know, for the review. But I'll just say, I can see why Nintendo have put it on the phone. Be that for better or for worse, I can understand why they've put it on the phone. Speaking of which, going back to the phone, I'm walking back now. I've been about 40 minutes now on the walk back. Look at this. Let me just flick this round. If the camera will actually let me see it, because we've got a bit of a sun glare. Let's see if we can get in the shadows. Go on. There you go. So it might, might take a little bit of a while, but look, my battery, oh, god damn it, my battery is already pretty much drained. So, the game drains the battery, which is ridiculous. God, there's a lot of dogs out today. Anyway, we could catch one of those. You know, the sun and moon dog, which I love. Oh god, they're all chasing me around. Yo, mate. They're all, they're all on the go. They've already got trainers, we can't capture one of them. Now they're having a fight. They've got into a Pokemon battle. But yeah, so... Uh, what was I saying? The dogs put me off. But yeah, so... It's drained the battery, which isn't good. Like, you know, that was 40 minutes in town. And this little country walk is, what, 10 minutes? Are they 10 minutes there, 10 minutes back? So all in all, about an hour. And the phone is probably going to die by the time we get home because it's still running. Because I just want to do a battery test. Um, did top up my phone. Going to be testing that out in the field behind my house. So I'm going to be in like this random field, which is absolutely huge. You know, we should see ponytails. Um, well, the Pokemon are in a field. Like, you know, ones that run around like ponies. Spyro doesn't know. I'll just say Ponytas, but you know, we should see Ponytas, Rapidash, we should see everything in that field. So I have topped up. So, uh, yeah. Drains the battery, have some interesting information from, the, from O2, again, trying not to spoil what is on that piece of paper till the review tomorrow. But as again, I can see why Nintendo have put it on the phone for better or for worse. And whoa! God, there's just like rabbits! Train! That's train on. That's a long train. Thank you, Virgin. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's about all I've got to say. I've never done a vlog before. I've never done one of these vloggy rambly, walky things before. So, you know, don't expect me to be like Matthew Santaro, just switch it on, you know, exactly what I was going to say. Bit of a ramble, but yeah, Callie and Mari come out tomorrow, so be picking them up tomorrow for what Nintendo is saying is the last, the last Splatfest. Don't know if I'll believe them, maybe it's something to do with the NX. Uh, the dogs, Sun and Moon, I'm loving the Oreo dog, but I don't think Sun and Moon it's going to be all that good. You know, some of the Pokemon look a little bit crappy, like the the Magic School Bus Minecraft block bug, and um, that new Beetle thing that got released today. I'll put it on screen now. They look a bit crap. So we'll, we'll see how Pokemon Sun and Moon works. You know, I, I know like there's just going to be EVs and IVs. I'll bring that out more in a Sun and Moon review. I don't like EVs and IVs. I want to go back to a simpler time when it was just red, blue and yellow where there was no such thing as EVs and IVs because the little Game Boy cartridges would have exploded. I mean, hell, in red and blue we couldn't even separate special defense and special attack like it was just all under one thing of special, so that was a thing back then. So yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go now, I'm going to see how well the battery did for this review and he didn't look too happy. I wonder what's crawled up his ass. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to go now and see how well the battery did. And I'll see all of you tomorrow for the Pokemon Go review. And maybe, you know, if this, you know, converts fast enough, you might get a Starbound episode tonight. I'm going to, because I've already recorded the Starbound episode. It's already processed. It's ready to upload. 
So I'm probably going to upload that like now 4 p.m. And then six hours later at 10 p.m. after I've finished editing this, then I'll uh, upload this and you'll all see me tomorrow for Pokemon Go review, which I'll be typing up when I get home. So, uh, yeah, that's the thing. So, thank you for watching this video. Another long train is going past. But, thank you for watching this video. If you like this weird vlog semi review thing, then leave a like. Let me know if you want to see more of them. I can do, I can do this little country walk every single day if I had to. Oh, I should have brought a drink though, because fucking hell, the sun's now coming out. It's getting so hot. Like, I mean, it probably doesn't help that I've got like that thing tied around my waist. But oh my god, it's it's actually getting so hot. Getting out of breath. I wish I brought a drink. But yeah, so. I can do this walk every day if you want, but let me know if you want to see more of these vlog videos. Leave a like, whatever. If you can't wait to see Pokemon Sun and Moon, Sun and Moon Pokemon Go review, then feel free to subscribe and uh, links to all my other stuff below. And I'll see all of you in the next one.